Hey guys, it's Brittany at Inkit Papyrus, and today we are going through journals of Christmas past to give us some inspiration and ideas for the journal that we are currently working on, our snow globe journal. Okay, I haven't been through these journals um, in at least a year or two now, so some of this may be new to me as well, um, or at least I don't really remember what I did with these, so let's dive in. Okay. So this journal I worked on, I believe, two years ago. I'm um, just checking out the spine. I like the cover when I did this. This is obviously a chipboard sewn cover um, with just some pretty papers, some fabric to reinforce the spine. Um, not wild about this closure. I'd probably go back and redo this um, if given the chance. <laughs> Maybe I will. Okay, I like the inside. Lots of sewn pages, if I can remember correctly. Of course, my favorite, more Christmas tea cards that I made. I like this belly band. I could recognize this immediately. This is from the Tim Holtz collection of embellishments. Some stickles down this piece of fabric here. Just stamp papers. This is pretty chock full of stuff, so we won't go through all of it painstakingly. I'm just looking to get some ideas here. Oh, look at this children's book. I love this piece of fabric here. Made, I guess, some journaling cards. Just to fold it up a paper. Maybe some extra journaling paper for someone to write on. Oh, I love these tags. more tags. This was some digital um, image uh, printout that I found and I loved. This was like some wallpaper collection. Um, I can't remember the name but I absolutely love this and all the papers that came in with it. I love that stitching. Look at that. Some layered pockets. Oh, some tickets to see Santa. How cool. Pictures for Santa. <laughs> I think this is more of that wallpaper collection. Did some journaling here. Another belly band. Some old wrapping paper. Oh, I love this. Um, this was, let's see, this is an altered envelope I made. And a pouch for tags to go in the back. Um, some extra writing paper. 
Have some, oh, I love that fabric, that's cute. And just a little corner tuck right at the bottom here. Okay. Maybe, oops, on the side. I should take a paper clip and clip this in. This is cute. Just like a little peek through hole. Jelly band. I just wrote lyrics to uh, Christmas songs down here. Oh, I love these flip up. Oh, look at that present stamp. Doesn't that, or stencil, doesn't that fit perfectly with these flip ups? I think this is more from that wallpaper collection I was talking about. These book page envelopes that fold out like this and you can decorate um, just each book page, each different pocket. If they're all stamped. Let's make some more of these soon. I love these. We'll make some soon. This is an altered paper clip. Oh, I like that look. Paper from the desk of Santa Claus. Must be very official. Oh my gosh. Can you tell what year this was? This is an old. <laughs> oh, we're all masked up. I just took a, a mask I found laying around that was Christmas themed. This is probably at the end of 2020. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Oh, I just made it into a pocket. That's a perfectly normal thing to do, right? Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, now I'm dating myself. Oh, I must have taken these from my Nat Geo magazine. Um, just images of Everest. Put some white glitter paper on top to kind of make it look snow-capped. More tea cards. a sewn piece of paper that's like textured. This is an old gift bag. This is like that Tim Holtz wallpaper stuff that I love. And I just drew these birds. Just two birds. Hanging out and having a good time. This is from a card. Okay, I know we said we were not going to stop on every page. Um, I lied. Hmm. Oh, I love these tags. Okay, this is a uh, magazine page. Oh, oh, I love this. So this is a magazine page um, advertising some kind of alcohol. And so I just made a little tuck spot here. And I took two pieces of paper and um, put two of my favorite, the recipes for two of my favorite cocktails. This is an eggnog cocktail and cranberry Kringle cocktail. <laughs> More altered paper clips. 
packets, a tuck here with an envelope. Looks like oh, looks like an envelope, but no, it's not. Just I made it into the shape of an envelope. Some clusters, some tags. Oh, what is this? Oh, okay. So I did like an advent calendar spread. So my intention was to do kind of a December daily almost, but one of these years when I get my act together, take um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 to 25, and every day of that December put a picture or something memorable in for that day. Obviously it would have to be, some of these are really small, um, but they're just little flip ups that I made. Nice. It's like an advent calendar in real time. Writing space. Um, I got the self Trader Joe's bag uh, and I put a recipe gingerbread eggnog next to it. I love that. This is just a washi swash, a swatch page. I love those stamps. Oh my gosh, you won't believe it, but more tea cards. <laughs> I'm obsessed with these. Obsessed. I'll spare you guys and I won't pull out the other one. Frosty! This is cute. pocket here. I just wrote, did some stamping and wrote the lyrics to I'll be home for Christmas. It's a nice cluster. A peak, tuck spot, peak spot. This is a tea card that I used as a tuck with just the names of the reindeers on it. Oh, and you, I even gave this little reindeer bow. How cute. Oh, I love this. So this is a pocket um, with a little uh, tuck well, the uh, heart cut out of it, and I backed it with uh, some cardstock, and then I took the cutout and put it on a different card and matched the cardstock and sewed it. It's really cute. I forgot how much I like this. This is why you have to go back and look at your stuff. Look at this cute little envelope. Gives you ideas for things you may not have done in a while. Um, inspiration to try new things. And sometimes you just look back and you're like, wow, look how far I've come. Like, I would never make a closure that looked like this today. This is sad. <laughs> but, you know, we grow, we develop, and we learn how to do new things. Organic hot cocoa mix. I glued it down like this and so there's a pocket in the front and then the pocket or packet in the back and then a pocket here where the hot cocoa packet was actually opened. Santa Paul's. I made that little cluster um, and my intention was to put a picture of my dog and um, Put some pictures of him opening up his gifts and write some memories down here. I love that. Please Santa leave a lot of toys and a Merry Christmas. So I still have some empty pages in here. This is getting a little thick. Some more envelopes. We gotta make some of these. I'm in desperate need of some altered envelopes. Card. Nice. 
things. Oh, and as the, um, the hidden spine, I actually used wrapping paper. All right. So we're going to try and make this snappy. Um, honestly, this, like, tassel is kind of embarrassing. I didn't even want to show you guys, but I'm just going to show you because, wow, that's embarrassing. I didn't know what I was doing, and I think I gave up. I don't know if maybe I couldn't tie a knot that day or what was going on, <laughs> but I don't hate the cover. I think this was the first Christmas journal I ever made. Um, so let's just take a look. I think some of the stuff in here is cute. I love that Santa paper. Miracles happen to those who believe. Oh, I took out some pages from the night before Christmas. I wonder if I still have that book. I would really like to take out a couple more and put it into the journal I'm currently working on. Coca-Cola card. How cool. A tag. Tickets. I think I stole these from the tops of some gift bags. Postcards, cards. I love the texture, the raised, embossed uh, look. More um, in abbreviated Twas the Night Before Christmas. That's pretty. I took, um, there was a picture of Santa in the sleigh, and I took the cutouts of some reindeer and um, made little like harnesses and extended it along the page. Well, this is thick. Okay, clearly I didn't really finish journaling. In here, there was a lot more I wanted to do, but I ran out of room. This is before I knew, or kind of had an idea as to how many signatures or how many pages should be in a signature. And I way overdid it. So maybe I'll kind of use this as a writing journal. Um, because I don't have much more room to stuff things in it. But I do love some of these papers. So maybe I'll journal some memories in here. Some coloring paper. was a Christmas card from a family member. A lot of pages in here. Recipes. Don't forget recipes. I love putting them in Christmas journals. Any journal. Look how cute. Gingerbread house. Gingerbread tag. paper clip. Uh, this is a Trader Joe's holiday guide. This is 2020. Wow. Feels like forever ago. Recipe cards. More recipes. Oh, I like 
like this. Uh, this is like a just signature uh, devoted to just like Christmas recipes and food and desserts and drinks. Um, so this is, this packet was just from the, I think the Trader Joe's um, Christmas uh, Fearless Flyer. And I took, um, just cut out some of the, um, like, of the products and backed it with um, writing paper, coffee dyed writing paper for um, room to write down various recipes and just put little green and red buttons on them. Um, an old tea bag. Christmas songs, Christmas music. Oh yeah, this is from a Christmas carol. So the last signature was just like food. Um, this is a this is the music, the Christmas music signature I put in here. I guess I, they were themed. I guess so. But again, I have all this empty room, so I'm gonna have to do some writing and some journaling of memories. Um, which I don't usually write in my journals a whole lot because my handwriting is terrible. Um, but I'm going to have to bite the bullet and do it because I feel like this journal is just, it's cute, but it's going to waste. Don't be afraid to save wrapping paper in little bits. Oh, nice. Oh, I guess this is the Frosty of the Snowman signature. Even some winter something or other. Okay. So kind of light on the decorations. Clearly it filled up quickly and I put way too many papers in here. But live and learn, right? Okay, this is a, the, a journal that I started working on last year and then had like a life catastrophe and didn't finish. So, but I like the structure of the journal. I like the cover. The cover's just, I think, chipboard lined with some white fabric uh, with some lace over top, some applique um, reinforced with fabric. My intention was to put some charms down here and then cut these off, which I never quite got around to. Maybe I will this year. Um, I like this poinsettia like seed packet printout. Just an extra little notebook here. And some pretty papers. Um, this journal really is not decorated. It just has the signatures in it. So calendar paper, Christmas card list, music paper. These are, um, this is from a book called Christmas Around the World, where it details traditions, Christmas traditions performed in different countries. Um, some stationery, this beautiful Christmas card. I do like these signatures. It's a shame I never actually got around to decorating this journal. It's so I did a little bit. Here's a belly band and some journaling cards. I definitely got to get around to doing more this year with this. Oh, this is the um, from the belly band video we made. Belly bands on steroids. This is the flip up belly band. The reason why I like this is because you can um, tuck papers or whatever you want to put uh, under this, but you can flip it up so that you have writing room and if it's a page you still want to be visible, um, people can still see whatever's on that page. It's not completely hidden. Oh, Christmas soaps, pretty cool. Embroidery paper, cross stitch, whatever you call it. Flip ups. Little tuck here. So as you can see, I kind of just did bare minimum. I 
the journal was just put together and I had just started decorating and then life happened um, and here we are. So my goal is to decorate two journals this year. This is just dyed with, um, blah, 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 blah. what is it dyed with? It is dyed with um, food coloring. Another foot butt belly band. Left some room for journaling. I love these. Really pretty postcards. More pretty postcards. This is an altered paper clip. It kind of looks like an envelope, but it does not open. I glued it shut. Kind of on purpose, but it'd be cool if you left it open. And then you could make it a flip up and actually put little embellishments in here. this little huge pocket. Just some things I used to decorate. Little embellishment. I think these are little bookmarks. Yeah, I think these are little bookmarks. Okay. Oh, and the bookmarks and things for writing on the other side. These were uh, stickers I made um, just using plain white labels. We can do a video on that. Some recipes. Card. Oh, I love this. These tall cards make great flip outs for like little folios. So here I have. Um, two little pockets and a pretty picture here and another pocket where I have some tags another little bookmark see so the possibilities are endless All right, so I hope this gave you some inspiration and some ideas for your Christmas journals for this year. Um, if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. My videos come out Monday and Friday, and I can't wait to get working on our snow globe journal we just made together. Uh, so I will see you guys the next time. Thanks for coming along for the ride.